Aliza from Hikma Bento. Today, we will share Japanese chicken curry rice recipe, a simple but popular menu in Japan. Japanese curry is a thick curry that has a consistency of a stew. It is totally different from the curry dishes found commonly in my country, Malaysia. It usually includes carrots, onion, potatoes and proteins, either beef or chicken, and thickened by roux. Okay, let's get to cooking. First of all, let's prepare the ingredients. Remove the skin of an onion and cut the onion into wedges. You can either cut the onion into thin or thick wedges. Thick onion wedges gives texture to your curry. Separate the layers of the cut onion with your hands so that when we cook them, it will cook evenly. Peel the carrot and cut them into bite sizes. Peel the potato and cut the potato into bite-sized quarters. Soak the potatoes in water to remove starch and to prevent them from turning brown. Remove extra fat and skin from the chicken. Cut the chicken meat into small pieces. Heat about 2 tablespoons of cooking oil over medium heat. Add in the onions and saute the onions, occasionally stirring them until they become translucent and tender. Be careful not to burn the onions. Next, add in the carrot and stir occasionally for about 1 minute. Add in the cut potatoes and stir occasionally for about another minute. Add in the chicken. Cook everything until the chicken is no longer pink. Add water or chicken stock if you have any. This recipe is for 3 person, so we will need about 500 milliliters of liquid. Simmer with the pot covered on medium heat for about 15 minutes. Let the liquid boil, stirring occasionally and once it is boiling, use a strainer or a ladle to remove scum and foam from the surface of the broth. Japanese curry is an easy to cook dish as we can use the readily available Japanese curry roux. Hikma Bento uses a halal certified curry roux for this menu. Turn off the heat and let the broth cool down for about 30 seconds before putting in the roux. Break the roux into smaller pieces so that it could be dissolved into the broth easily. Make sure that it is completely dissolved before turning on the heat. Cover the pot and simmer the curry over medium-low heat, stirring frequently. The curry should become stick. When you stir, make sure that no roux or ingredients is stuck at the bottom of the pot. Otherwise, it may burn. Your curry is ready. Enjoy! Good.